Welcome back to Valley Life, and you're right in the middle of another Wells Fargo Friday, and I want to talk about a little bit of the transition, uh, I guess, in the partnership of Wells Fargo and the EOC right here, and the two perfect gentlemen to do that, Mr. Gil Aragon, how are you? Good, 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 very good. And Brian, good to see you again. Thank you so much for sticking around for me. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about this partnership you've created uh, between Wells Fargo and, uh, and the EOC and what Wells Fargo means to a program like yours to make it that much more effective. Well, we have lots of different ways that we connect with Wells Fargo. I mean, it's just sort of the big ways. I mean, with the, uh, we've had about $400,000 worth of loan fund money that have come into the agency from Wells Fargo. That's money that goes into our CDFI that we're able to loan out and help people start businesses. So there's sort of the big money that comes in. And then there's the small money. This, this past year, uh, Wells Fargo gave us $5,000 to uh, Seoul, which is a um, charter school that we operate. And most of the kids in our charter school are, you know, are low income, at risk kids and you know, so they don't have jackets. And so I mean what five thousand dollars meant is we were able to take the kids to a store and let them shop for their own their own jacket, yeah. which is uh, you know, which is huge for them because it all you know it, it, it's no longer a donated jacket and stuff, so it's it's really a matter of pride. But you know, five thousand dollars doesn't seem like much, but it's enough to buy, you know, a, a, a couple hundred jackets. So it's uh, it's important. Well, Brian, when you partner with a great company like Wells Fargo, they can also then just send in a bean counter and say, "You can do this. You can't do this. Here's your money or not." When you partner with Wells Fargo and someone like Gil shows up, and there's actually a heart that's attached to the whole thing, it makes it that more much more effective of where those dollars go. Well, you always talk about that locally. When you when you know we have a lot of mo- a lot of grant funding, and so people think you get hundred hundred million dollars. Why do you need ten thousand dollars from from Wells? Fargo. The hundred million dollars is all grant driven. I mean, so you get money for Head Start that's you have to spend it on Head Start, which is it's what it's for. So we agree with that. You get money for WIC, you have to spend it on WIC. You have money for employment and training, you have to do that. So when you when the day is done, at the end of the day, you're sitting with all this grant money that's all being driven into some place, and then you've got some other need that shows up. You've got some you know, you've got a hundred kids at a at a school that all need jackets, and you don't have the money for that because, again, all your money is grant driven, and so that's that's where the importance is. Or, or you you use your grants to start a CDFI, but you get it started, but then you you know how do you, you need you need loan money? I mean, you need to get. And so, again, you, there's only so much grant money out there. And so when you have Wells Fargo comes in and loans us money to loan out, that's, that's the kind of stuff that, you, that, that allows us the flexibility to do things. Sure. Well, Gil, the opposite side of that coin, then, is the fact that when you have to come in and you've got the checks to write from Wells Fargo, you can get teamed up then with a partnership and say, man, I don't know that this money is going to be that effective. When you're with a program like EOC, you realize, boy, this, every dollar is going to something very important. Absolutely. You know, at the end of the day, we get to, to be that voice for EOC and go back and, and, and take it to, to the company and say, Wells Fargo, hey, th- these are some great initiatives that we should get behind. And these are the, the end results and the, how it would impact the community. So it's uh, great to have a great working relationship with our community development team, uh, Tim, uh, Sandy, and Jerry, and Oscar. They've done a phenomenal job for Wells Fargo. Sure. When you think about what Wells Fargo does and when people talk about the dollar amounts and where they vary, there's over 600 volunteers. Volunteers, you know, that from Wells Fargo that are making an amazing impact right here in our community. Absolutely, you know, from uh, you know events like Kids Day where we're all out there on the street freezing our tails off, selling right. kids. What's cold this year? Yeah, selling uh, <laughs> papers for kids. You know, at the end of the day, I got to say I, I'm very uh, honored to work for such a great company with such great uh, colleagues with huge hearts. Well, Brian, that, that kind of puts the, uh, I guess, the exclamation point on, on what Wells Fargo's involvement has been and then what you're able to do then at the EOC. Yeah, we've only talked about money. I mean, Wells Fargo is people just like, you know, it's, so, it's, so it's the involvement in volu- you know, volunteers and we need them during the day. It's Gil who has been on our CDFI board for for longer than I've been here, so <laughs> a decade, right? And then he's just recently come on the board, and he came on the board. I think he joined the board on a Tuesday, and on a Thursday we went away for two and a half days of, right. of strenuous strategic planning. I mean, so it's and prior to uh, Gil, we had Sandy Cha. So I mean, we all, we always have you know it's important. The money is important, but the connection, the community, and it's and it's how you work together with other people in the community, and how you make you know and how you make for a better quality of life in Fresno, which is which is the same you know whether whether it's you're working for Wells Fargo, you're working for EOC, or you're working for city government, your purpose is all the same, which is to try to create a better quality of life here in, in Fresno. We all do it in different ways. I mean, you know, Wells does it through financials, and we do it by fi- fighting poverty. But we're still, again, the same basic, uh, you know, goal of, of, of creating a better quality of life here for everyone. Sure. We're just about out of time in this segment, Gil, but I think uh, what Brian's point uh, being taken very well, that it's one thing to just give money, but the amount of hours that your volunteers, over 600 of them at Wells Fargo put together, are huge impact. 
Absolutely. And again, you know, we, we're, uh, it's all about building relationships, giving back to the community. And, you know, I'm very blessed and fortunate to work alongside Brian and, and such a great organization. So sure. I appreciate it. We appreciate you being here. And I think what really puts the icing on the cake, too, we'll be back with the next segment, too, with Miss Megan Fisher. And it's a person that, that this life has been absolutely touched, I mean, in, in the most tender way. And getting back and giving back now because of the involvement of EOC and Wells Fargo. So don't go anywhere. More Wells Fargo Friday right after this.